Good afternoon, St. Andrews. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. It feels like it was just yesterday when I came here in late August. My time here has flown by so quickly, and yet I have experienced so many different things that it also seems like I have been here forever. This was a crazy year, one I will never forget, and one that will definitely impact my future. This year has changed me considerably, has broadened my horizons, and has given me so much perspective on how complex our world is. <coughs> well, let's start from the beginning. In 2022, one year ago, I was finishing my sophomore year at my high school back in Poland. The journey awaiting me to the U.S. still seemed to be pretty unbelievable. How did I end up in the U.S.? That's the question I often ask myself, and I'm still confused about it. <laughs> it all happened so fast, especially since I enrolled thinking about just trying out the application process rather than actually spending one year in the USA. I don't know why. Maybe because it seemed too surreal, or maybe because the world around me was changing so drastically. A horrible war broke out just around the corner, a conflict that is still going on in our neighbor country, Ukraine. No one expected that in the 21st century it was still possible that history lessons didn't teach us anything. I feared for the future of Poland, and even for our very lives, because this war was so dangerously close. I still remember the moment I found out about the outbreak. It was the first thing my parents told me when I woke up that day. Later on at the school, my classmates and I were constantly checking the news, discussing the possible consequences of the Russian invasion. Tense discussions were joined by the teachers, who instead of leading the class would spend hours talking with us about the conflict. Panic was spreading around. Everyone was getting ready for what might come, wondering what if we were about to find ourselves on the front line. I was not prepared for the horrific combination of emotions I was feeling. And then, I remember getting an email congratulating me on being awarded with the scholarship. I remember the shock as it hit me that this might actually be happening. I had countless conversations with my parents, family and friends regarding whether in the light of what was happening around us if I should take this opportunity or not. You have to understand that I was breaking away from everything that was familiar, going alone into a strange world which was so far away from home. It was really heartbreaking to think that I would not be able to see my family and friends, play with my dog or walk around my beautiful home city Krakow for the next year. Leaving my life behind was not easy, yet despite all the doubts, the advantages of this possible adventure took over, and the decision was made to send me into the unknown. My school was to be St. Andrews. Pictures of the campus and the description of the school I found online were beyond comprehension. The welcome package made me start to develop the feeling of already belonging. Despite the fears I had, that package genuinely lifted me up. <coughs> During the summer, I started digging into the handbook, and I had to admit, some points truly shocked me. One of the things that caught my attention was totally surreal was the inclusion of the drill in case of gun violence. This was a total surprise for me not having these kinds of issues back home. But there was no turning back at that point. I was committed already. The very first person I met when I arrived at SAS was Nurse Wally, working at the health center. And I think it is safe to say that she not only made my day, but also brought my expectations about the school to a totally different level. <laughs> I am strongly convinced that at that point she was the most positive and joyful person I had ever met in my entire life. <laughs> Her energy and optimism were contagious. At that moment I realized that I was entering a new world, one that would definitely be welcoming and exciting, but also so different. And don't get me wrong, people in Poland are nice, but we definitely express ourselves in a less explosive way. <laughs> <laughs> the campus itself totally exceeded my expectations. Private schools in Poland are not so popular, let alone boarding schools. And so it was really shocking to see the SAS campus with old but beautiful buildings and also modern facilities for sports, <coughs> studying and living. I have been a part of multiple schools before, but all of them combined could not even keep, compete against the San Andreas campus. Even looking at it from the sport angle, I had been playing soccer for my whole life and never before had I so many resources to benefit from. The gym, athletic trainers, so many beautiful fields, the complexity of it all was truly stunning. And everyone was being so nice as well. Every time I passed a person in the hallway, they would stop for a moment, only to ask how I was doing, introduce themselves, do the small talk. By the end of the first week, so many people had talked to me that I had trouble remembering all of the names and faces. Of course, I was scared, stressed, and a little bit shy at the beginning. But with every day, I became more and more comfortable with my new life. And that is thanks to all of you. I was on cloud nine. Yet the amount of stimuli took its toll. With time also came reflection and even a bit of exhaustion, especially in the first month while I was still adjusting to everything. After a few years of the pandemic and not being used to interacting with so many people on a daily basis in a community like this, 
made me feel at some point so tired. I remember during my telling my parents, oh my god, they talk so much. <laughs> but I quickly realized how much I actually love that. Uh, eating every meal with so many people surrounding you and talking to you in an enormous, at least for my standards, dining hall became a lot to hang and handle, as well as the official family side dinners and lunches with so many rules attached to them. Now I can definitely say that I am going to miss that tradition. I've grown to appreciate it and really enjoy it. Living in a dorm was not easy at first. Having a common bathroom, a roommate, I felt a true lack of privacy, which, being an only child, I had always highly valued. But that lasted only for a moment. Looking back now, I feel so lucky that I was given the opportunity to be a part of the greatest storm ever. The share with family made me feel at home, helped me to get into SAS life and develop a sense of belonging. It was absolutely priceless. My roommate Jay was truly the best roommate I could have asked for. My meek brother, Ima, helped me with any problems I had on a daily basis, making sure that I was doing okay. And then he would watch the Premier League with me on the weekends, bringing so much passion and rooting for this team. <laughs> I'm also really lucky to have watched the World Cup with all of you guys. It really brought the excitement to an entirely different level. I remember having half of founders gathered in the Sherwood common room watching one of Poland's decisive group stage games. I was extremely passionate that day, but it was nothing compared with the energy from everybody else. It was truly amazing. And then, how could I not mention it, watching the Super Bowl in the dining hall. <laughs> I have to admit that this sport is uh, actually quite exciting. <laughs> I have never watched American football before coming here, but I might consider bringing some of it back to Poland with. Watching that game was so much fun mainly because of all the community gathered together and how passionate you all were. The SAS family took care of me even during one of the breaks, when Mary Neal and her wonderful family hosted me for Christmas. Literally everything in my life became different by coming here. And I mean everything. Even the way of teaching differed from what I was used to back home. Subjects like math, which I would think would be similar in different countries, except for the language, surprised me at first. Especially when I heard the teacher discourage me from memorizing some formulas by heart, which in Poland is a must. This way of learning gives me a greater perspective and definitely helps me develop, but it also took me some time to get used to. Although I wonder what my teachers in Poland will say if I stop reciting the formulas from my memory and start debating them instead. <laughs> Yes, the difference between the teaching style here and there is enormous. And I love having the chance to experience it. Debating during history class, actually engaging in the historical events, becoming President Kennedy to understand the reasoning between particular <coughs> decisions made in the past, conducting thousands of laps during chemistry classes, learning how to speak in public, talking about nuclear physics and ethics, discussing books and poetry in a way that was so relevant to modern issues, I could have only dreamed about it back home. While I was feeling culture shock initially, after some adjustments, I enjoyed this new way of learning so much. I went into the soccer season here, hesitant, not knowing what to expect. But I enjoyed this team, and although we have not achieved all that we wanted, this experience helped me realize the importance of being together as a team. My highlight of the season was definitely the Smyrna game, when the whole school went out to support us. I know we lost that game, which was really heartbreaking, but what I will forever remember is the amazing support from all of you guys. I would never have imagined that somebody would be holding a poster with my name on it during a soccer game before I came here. Well, at least not until I'm mastering it as Robert Lewandowski. <laughs> I was also given the opportunity to manage girls' soccer in the spring. Uh, it gave me yet another angle, another perspective to look at the sport. It was an extremely fun experience doing this, and that I also owe to the players, coaches, and my fellow manager. In their track, totally changed my attitude towards running, as I finally felt like running because I enjoyed it, not because I had to. And again, that was only possible thanks to my amazing, amazing teammates. Somewhere around last week, one of those people came up to me and uh, told me that she misses running with me. It came out of nowhere, and it hit me how many things about this place I am going to miss, including those running practices. I came here not knowing what to expect. I had my moments of doubt, but every step of the way, you guys reassured me that coming here was the best decision I could have ever made. If I was to make an appreciation for every single person who helped me on my journey at SAS, including students and faculty, we would be sitting here for a very long time. <laughs> so I'll just take the moment to give special thanks to all of my coaches, Mr. Carroll, Mr. Tower, Mr. Hutch, teachers, Mr. Golden, Ms. Cusick, Mrs. Tower, Mr. Taylor, Mr. Finch, Dr. Hyde, my dorm partner and coach, Mr. Porch, my advisor, Mr. Everhart, as well as to Mr. Volinsky, Ms. McGrath, and every single one of you for everything you have done for me. I truly appreciate all of you. I feel blessed and honored to have the chance to meet and work with you. I will never forget this year, this wonderful experience. This community gave me so much. I hope that at least to some degree I managed to give it back, and I will make all the effort to do so even after I go back to Poland.
Being a part of the San Andrews family was and will forever remain my great privilege. One thing that I would like to leave you guys with, studying in the US has always been my dream, which to be honest, I didn't think would come true anytime soon. But here I am. Do not be afraid to dream big and enjoy every moment you have at this place. Carpe diem, seize the day. Time flies by so fast. I'll be eternally grateful to the SS program and to the SAS admissions for allowing me to join the SAS community. This experience will stay with me forever. Thank you so much for everything you have done for me. I'm going to miss you guys. Hopefully, we will be able to see each other again. As I would say in Poland, dziękuję wam wszystkim z całego serca. Thank you, SAS.